20 past 8 and we are pretty much sorted for school then. Ella is the only one that's up. She's ready. She's ready to go. She's got her summer dress on. It looks like it's going to be a lovely day today actually and I'm dressed in all black so that's fun. But she has got school this morning of course. Charlie's still in bed. He's got a day off and Fraser's with him so they two are chilling. We've managed to get up and dress before they've even surfaced which I'm delighted about because usually I think when the kids were younger that is when I was the most organised. See if I could get up and ready before them. My whole morning was amazing. I need to take off this nail polish. Oh my god. I think I'll try and do that before we leave. I kind of would rather have no nail polish than that on. It's not great. I keep forgetting to do them. It's right past eight. I'm going to take Ella to school for quarter to nine. And then I'm coming back and get Nelly and Lauren. So they're going to come here, park up at my house. And then we're heading in to record the podcast. I better get a lemon sip or something because my throat has been so raspy for the last few days. It's bizarre. So we're going to go in and film two episodes or record two episodes for the podcast. Um, and then I'm going to come back here and I need to go over to Zara. I'm going to take them back and hopefully get a smaller size for him because the size I got are far too big. And it's Ella's birthday on Sunday so she's going to be six on Sunday. I cannot believe it. So I'm going to go over to the fort with my mum. All the restrictions in Scotland have eased so much. Like we had friends staying at the weekend, which was amazing. My friend who used to live in my street no longer lives here anymore and is like three hours away in the car. It's quite the journey, but we make it work. So it's like a long distance friendship. <laughs> BRB crying. Um, but we make it work. So she was here with her husband and kids at the weekend for two days. And it was honestly bliss. Like it was just so nice. We all just like muddled in, got everything done, the kids had the best time and it was just amazing. So they've been here. Um, what else has been happening? I'm trying to think if there's anything else to like really update on. And now you're like officially allowed people in your house. So my mum's been over, she's been in my car. It's just been like so, so much easier than the last few months. So things are definitely heading in a good direction. So we're going to go and record the podcast. I think our two topics today, the first one is um, toxic trends. So things that are online now that we're just like, what even is that? So one of the big ones is like feeding the homeless or giving money to the homeless and recording it is like a trend just now. I don't know what's going on. It's absolutely nuts. Like if you're going to do that, like we give money to people in charities and everything. I don't even speak about it on here because I'm like, you just do it because that's what you want to do, not because you need to give any, I don't know, they don't need to speak about it, you can just do it without being like, like just be a silent giver. So things like that and like cancel culture and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to speak about that on the first one and then the second one, we're going to be speaking about any kind of beauty procedures, my not just grumbled, <laughs> any kind of beauty procedures you've had done that you might regret or like what you guys on Instagram thinks is too far. So like non-invasive stuff and potentially like under the knife stuff. I've not spoke about it on here, but I am strongly considering, like I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure I'm gonna do it, get a breast reduction. I am absolutely fed up of my boobs. They are, at, they're out of control. They are out of control. They really restrict me, they hold me back. They actually are giving me a sore back now. They're so heavy. Um, and even when I lose weight, they just seem to like lose volume, but then they sag. So I'm definitely considering getting a reduction done. I went for a consultation to see, you know, costs and everything and what it would cost to get it done and whatever else. And it's looking more likely that it'd be better for me to go abroad than to stay in the UK. I think in the UK you're talking about 12 grand, 9 to 12 grand. If anyone else had experience with this, can you let me know? Because I'm looking for all the advice I can get before I ever make a decision. Like for the last maybe two years I've been strongly considering it and now I'm just like maybe within the next two years I'll have it done. So if anyone has any experience then let me know. But I think in the UK to get like a real reputable place you're talking like nine to twelve grand depending on what you're looking for. And then if you go to 
um, Turkey, there's a company that I actually went to get a facial with and they do it and I was speaking to them about it. So they said that they've got a, a hospital in Istanbul and um, you would go for five days, which seems like a long time to be away for the kids. So I don't know. Anyway, I did not plan on sharing that on here, but there you go. I'm strongly considering the breast reduction and I, I feel like a lot of people are going to come on here and be like, you don't need to do that, blah, blah, but it's kind of what you feel like. Like, it's, it's what makes you feel better. It's nothing about sticking in with industry standards, because to be honest, when you get a breast reduction, you just, you actually end up with loads of big scars. It's more for me, like, health-wise, like, my back is breaking with my posture, because I'm always like this, trying to hide them. Um, and if I do that, I just feel as if I look really broad. But just now, I think I am a 34G, double G. Or is it 36 double G? I can hardly remember the last time I brought bought bras and they don't fit me properly. So my boobs are really big and they're heavy and they're pain, literal pain. So I'm considering strongly getting a reduction. So anyone who's had one, can you let me know? Like what's what do I need to know about it? And yeah, any advice, like nice advice. Don't come on and say don't do it. <laughs> Cause I definitely want it done. But um, but any advice would be appreciated. I can't believe I've spoken for 10 minutes. I'll be cutting this out. We're going to take Ella to school. We're going to come back and go into the podcast. I'll show you inside the studio and stuff so you can see what it looks like. And then we are going to go to the fort, go to Zara, come back, school run, dance and run, food time, bedtime. That is the routine. Let's go and do it. I've got a bubble on my wrist at all times. Honestly, what is this about? What is this about? It's not normal. Also, why do I look like the Bicaro Dibley today? Like, what's going on? What was that? Home sweet home. What's home sweet home? It means you're home sweet. <laughs> you can say it's your car sweet. Why is this not? Yeah, it's better. Home sweet home? Home sweet home. What, school sweet school? Home? School sweet school. <laughs> school sweet school. <laughs> We're so early today. Yeah. Mummy's on it. <laughs> Woohoo! Usually I'm so so late or like running about. Did you know what I think the issue was? What? Who who's not here just now? Charlie. And he normally cries when he comes. No, usually Charlie's faffing about. Yes. I don't want to come right now. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? Charlie usually says stuff like, I don't want to come right now. Doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> So What's on today at school? It's a Tuesday. What are you doing on Tuesday? I forgot. Hmm? I forgot. Um, is it library day? No. I already got a library book. You got your library book? Is it... I can't think what other day it could be. Oh, it's but... gym day, I think. No, gym day's a Wednesday. Wednesday and a Friday is gym day. No, uh, it's library day. Library day today? Tuesday. Well, no, 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 I think it's, do you know what it is? It's homework day, homework book. Did you see your book that you were doing? Yeah. You need to hand that in. They're in your bag. Okay. And I've given you, I've given you your, <laughs> I've given you your lunch today. So you've got pack lunch, because you love pack lunch, don't you? Mm -hmm. So you've got, uh, <laughs> you've got ham sandwich, and you've got quavers, okay. and you've got strawberries, mm -hmm. and you've got, Oh, I've given you mango today. I don't like mango. Have you ever tried it? Can you try it again? Give, just give it a try. I can't ever give it a try. Give it a try. You never liked blackberries and you ate them. Okay. Did you eat the blackberries? No, I don't really like them. So why would they out of your lunchbox then? I tried them again. I only tried them twice. Ella Reed. I and thought I, you were eating them. I tried them twice and I didn't like them. <laughs> I'm not joking, I tried them and I didn't like them anymore. Alright, fair enough then. Well, try the mango because I think you'll actually like it. Okay, and I've tried mango. <laughs> and what like else it. is the other thing? What's the other thing I gave you? I can't even remember now. Anyway, let's get moving. Okay. School time, girl. <laughs>
Say hi for the vlog, Lauren. You can see my like surgical. Look. And then, <laughs> for just a minute, say hi for the vlog. It does look like a surgical brow <laughs> look. What's that? that looks like a comfy bra. It is, it's an Amazon special. Oh, wait, um, is, my, is my video going to get demonetized because Lauren's getting her paps out? Yeah. <laughs> As usual. Funny. We're just out from the podcast. It's good today actually because we usually will be going not on a Friday. Oh sugar, I need my keys. My car doesn't have the thing that used to have the last time where it's like an automatic unlock. Wait a minute. Hold on, why am I so annoying? Where the Hi, hell are my keys? I know. It's an automatic unlock. I know. It's so annoying. Where's the thing? Where's my keys? Where my keys? Right here. There we go. That went quite well today. Yeah. And I like, early. I like um, I like chatting during the day. Me too. Usually when we go in on a Friday, we go in at like what time? Like eight o'clock. And it's been like after the yeah. longest week. We go in in a Chat square mile. And then start at nine. We oh yeah, <laughs> and then we end up sometimes leaving at like what one? Yeah. And sometimes our podcast I think we sound absolutely steaming. I really steaming. want to do one like I'm that. So tired. We were saying we are going to do like a... Oh, you haven't even said hi in this little thing. Oh, Sorry. Hi. Right, Lauren, Ellie. Hi. Um, oh, turn that off. It's so bright. There we go. Yeah, we um, usually go in on a Friday. It was good today. Although, we were in for like two hours and then thought we were getting a ticket, hence why I am out of breath. But we're going back now. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to edit some some of those TikToks that we made. Oh my God, what was the one? Uh, How many did you do? Uh -huh. Oh, we meant to do another one. We meant to do the one in the car, but nobody brought a headscarf. Oh, fuck's sake. What, the what one, was, the place on go? Yeah. Hmm? There was another one that we thought of. I can't remember. Was but that was the foot it, one that you sent? Foot one? No, there was an easy one to do, like, in the studio there, and we forgot to do it. It's fine. But we'll we do it next time. Do it next time. Look, that's for me as well. That's it? No, that one. That one's for Mummy. Do I have it with me? Exactly. Brownie. Yeah. I like them, but look at this. Beans some toast. No way. Oh, That's yours. Pink, orange, white or no? Pink, orange, white or no? She's like a baby look. Yeah, no, I got all the crabby pink. We're happy we're home. We're yeah. happy we're home. <laughs> so I When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves And get a job, we didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm. We're on a barge, aren't we? Barge this is not going to work. This is just like Rosie and Jim. Actually, we like life. tomato sauce. And you don't like tomato sauce, do you? No. We have come away to Edinburgh for the night. We're on the Four Sisters Hotel. Yeah. It's like a barge, so it doesn't... It doesn't move, it can move, but it doesn't move just now. We're just here for one night. And I'm, we're so happy. Are you so happy? Mommy, I got the one in dish in one. Oh, well done. The kids wanted something to eat and I was like, just get them a McDonald's delivery. So we did a little mix delivery to the bar. I'm going to show you kind of what is around us. We're just literally in the middle of like a... What is this, like a marina? Isn't yeah, it like a I, canal marina? I'm like a mini... in a boat. It's a marina, isn't it? Hello? Uh, but it's like this wee bit here is like the doll cup. Is that not what it is? So we're here for one night. The kids are loving it because there's so many like ducks and there's seagulls. And, and there's a bunk bed. bed. And there's what, darling? A bunk bed. Oh, there's a bunk bed. And hi, little visitors. Hi, baby. Hi, male stranger ducks. Male stranger ducks. Yeah, male stranger ducks. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're here for one night. We've got here quite late. It's probably about what time is it now? It's 10 to 7. 
but it's quite light still, so we're just going to let them have a late night that we sleep in the car. But I'll show you a little tour actually. I'll go from outside so you can see what it looks like, but we're so impressed. It's like everything in it's brand new. They've had joiners in doing all, it's an independent company, it's not part of a chain or anything. And the lady who showed us around, she's so lovely. So let me just show you from outside in. So at the end there, you'll see there's like a little gate. So you have to open the gate to get in. So we've got keys for that. And then that's like the little dock for all the electricity. And this is the barge here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all brand new. You can tell by looking at it. This is like the coolest thing to do with your family, even friends. It's a luxury, static, self-catering barge. Um, but you can actually add things on to your order. So if you want to get breakfast items, anything like that, you can get them. So let me just show you all the details here. There's a website, a phone number, and there's an email address so there's two kind of like points where you can sit outside at the front and also at the back so it's huge it's absolutely huge i'm so like i can't believe how big it is inside i thought we were going to have to duck down inside it but it's massive and it's all secure there's a building across the road that's got cctv on it so it's definitely really secure so let's just go on so we've got like our little outdoor rug and some seating and then there's a box over there it's got life jackets in it for the kids if we need them and then it's all kind of really you know secure you know locks and everything and then you come inside take a little duck in and then there's all of your little kind of electrical grid here we don't really need to touch any of this she said but there's like a heating button so it won't be cold be nice and cozy so you come down inside everything's been specially fitted and then you've got like a microwave, you've got like literally every utensil you would need. We've got a fridge, that's right. We've just got some wine and snacks. They've got a little sink. Everything's provided like hand wash and everything. There's also toiletries too. We've got a gas hob so we can make rolls and bacon in the morning if we want to. And then we've got an actual oven, proper oven, so you can bring pizzas, whatever. And then a fridge, which we've got a lovely box of goodies. I've actually put a little clip on of all the things we got in that box. It was a local company they got to do it. So that's your kitchenette, which is huge. And even looking here, like it's massive. You don't need to bend down at all. I don't know, you could definitely be what, like six, five and still not bend down. Kids are like tucking into their McDonald's <laughs> boat life. And everything's cute. Like look, all the wee kind of like accents and the way they've done all the interiors cute. Cause it's got all sort of like boat accents the big standing lamp and everything, you've got an actual full sofa. I'm certain that's a sofa bed as well, because they said that you can sleep another, I think they thought we had eight adults coming to stay here. So you can sleep up to eight in this. And then you've got your little footstool, two wee chairs. This is such a good wee like drinking nook as well, or like playing games, family kind of thing. You've got your TV, there's Wi-Fi. So we've got Netflix logged in. And then along here, this is all of your, in fact, there's tons of like sockets for charging and stuff. Really, really good. Little radiator a radiator here as well and then you've got tons of little windows the whole way along and then this is your hallway so first room is Ellen Charlie's room you've got the wee bunk beds they've hung up their fluffy hoodies woo bunk beds so they've got the wee bunk beds they've also got a porthole at the back here but they've taken like a it's kind of like a wee upholstered cushion and they've popped it in the back just so that it gives them a bit more privacy there's wee night lights as well and everything's in this lovely kind of forest green color it's so nice throughout and then you've also got a second bedroom this is a double it's actually such a good size and then of course you've got the wee window so you can look out and see what's going on see if there's any wee ducks or whatever again another tv in here look how good is that they give you some gorgeous big robes and you've got your towels as well because there is on-site facilities for washing and here this is honestly probably one of the most impressive parts like look at the size of this toilet it's amazing so everything's brand new you've got a shower which all fully works they provide all your toiletries as well so if you're needing shampoo conditioner or body wash it's all there even like a little bathroom spray and then the toilet's quite cool so you've got these different buttons here and then you've got the vanity sink and a lovely mirror hello um, and again hand wash towels everything so we can easily get washed in here it's so spacious and then you've got the master bedroom so this is a wee bit crushed in comparison to what it was when we came in but the kids have been jumping about like maniacs so you've got a sliding door for privacy so if you are coming with friends or family you could easily come here with like two families no problem 
like two families with kids. So you've got a sliding door, you get your little window, and then you've got your double bed. How nice is that? Again, there's a TV in here, and we've also got access to the little kind of, I would call it little balcony outside. You've also got a vanity. We've thrown a jacket over here, but you've got a little vanity here. You can hang up your tops or whatever. And then out here, I've actually locked this up, I think. I think I've got keys in my pocket. But you get keys. Everything's totally secure, which was my kind of, like, one thing I had to make sure. But basically, you can go out here. And like you've seen in the first few clips, you can sit outside. So it's just fantastic. So yeah, I've given you a little tour now. I'll maybe do some clips throughout the night. But I'm going to go and chill with the kids and Fraser. I'm going to order some food, probably like a pizza. Sit outside at some point, have a glass of wine and just relax. If you guys are looking for something different to do this year and you are local to Edinburgh, then you should even just travel. Like say like that, we're in Glasgow, but it took us like 45 minutes to get here. It's well worth it. Do you know this would be great for even like a hen weekend if you've got a small gathering. There's actually a few boats, so you could have them, like I think there's three in total. So you can get like eight people on each and then just go out in Edinburgh. Such a great idea. So yeah, any details will be listed below if you want to go and check it out. But yeah, we're going to chill and get a wine now. Who's been for a shiver? Me! <laughs> Is it good fun? Yeah, we, there's a silver moon magic button. What is that, Tyler? A silver magic button. And that pumps all the water away, doesn't it? Yeah, it turns the uh, What? I feel like cyborg. You look like cyborg? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got <laughs> Because of this. He was last night and he was like that in the camera. He looked at me in the camera and he went, What? Why do I look like cyborg? <laughs> cyborg. Because of the red dot in my Singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 mm -hmm. What is this? Yeah, it's like mean? I don't know but don't press any of them Okay, I don't like to count them no. What? Them. Yeah, you like to count them. Zero, one, oh, two, Yeah, three, babe. Four, five. Slide it all the way back. Six, yeah. Right, cool. I'll, I'll have some craves. Craves? You guys, the. Yeah. Oh, can you warm this up? Is Charlie being pretty? No, right, yeah. Can you warm this up, Mummy? Yeah, do you want, do you want a hot water bottle? Really I'll really do you. Like, Charlie, do you want a hot water bottle as I well? Like. I know, I can make that hot for you. you. For right, Mommy. toilet time and then I'll make them warm. So happy. Today is loving. You just love staying on the boat. You see anything outside this morning? And I see like, I don't see any duckies. There's none just now. There's some that went by your window, isn't there? Ella, how did you enjoy your fishing? Good. Did you catch, catch anything? I catch seaweed. Did you in the canal? Yeah. My goodness.
what are you drinking like? A um, man. Now I'm drinking like a man. No. What are you drinking like? A lady. <laughs> Me, I really love man. Who? Ella. Ella what? Ella loves man. Does she? Let's do the pineapple sea, SpongeBob square pants. Brilliant. SpongeBob circle pants. SpongeBob. What? Square pants. All oh, right. Okay. Sorry. I thought I was in trouble. Burgers are cute, aren't they? Do you like them? Mini burger sliders. Oh, you got Charlie chops? I think so. Of course. And I got the buttermilk chicken burger. Looks so good. Chips, of course. More food. Um, just a piece burger, maybe a cheeseburger. Nice. Nice, nice meal. We've all been about the burgers. Chips are nice. <laughs> How funny is that? Do it looks like you know that the very first Mario's all done in little squares. Yeah. That's what it looks like. But it just. I have, I have one, two, 